Hello guys, welcome again to our tutorial series. Welcome to Teacher Will's tutorial. Our topic today covers in our subject, Empowerment Technology, in Senior High School, entitled, Safety, Security and Ethics. So please stand by, watch and learn. The Online Safety and Security. The internet truly, is a powerful tool. It can be used to promote your business, gain new friends, and stay in touch with the old ones. It is also a source of entertainment through games, online communities, and everything in between. But like most things in this world, there is always the other side of the coin. The internet is one of the most dangerous places especially if you do not know what you are doing with it. But there is no need to worry, it is never that late. Hopefully, by the end of our lesson today, you are able to consider how you go about the use of the internet. The internet is defined as the information superhighway. This means that anyone has access to this highway, can place information, and can grab that information. Any information even things that you have set privately can be accessed one way or another. This is why social networking sites like Facebook continue to improve their security features. The threat of a cyber crime is very real. While you may not experience the threat now, whatever information we share today could affect our future. Dangers on the internet. As what I have told you, there is always the other side of the coin. The internet is one of the most dangerous places especially if you do not know what you are doing with it. Here are some of the threats you should be aware of when using the internet, we have. First, the malware. Second, the email spam. Third, the email spoofing. Fourth, phishing. Fifth, farming. And sixth, the hacker. One of the dangers or threats that can affect our devices using internet is the malware. Malware, stands for malicious software. This includes, a, the computer virus, b, the computer worm, c, the trojan horse, d, the spyware, and, e, the adware. The computer virus. Computer virus is a malicious program designed to replicate itself and transfer from one computer to another either through the internet and local networks or data storage like flash drives and CDs. It spreads like a real biological virus, wherein it attaches itself to a host program and infect other computers if it is received by a computer through the internet. The computer worm. The computer worm is a dangerous computer program that replicates itself through a network. It transfers from one computer to another computer by any type of means. Often, it uses a computer network to spread itself. For example, the I love you worm or love bug worm created by a Filipino. Antivirus, anti-spyware, and use of firewall helps to prevent worm attacks, but it must be updated regularly to ensure current prevention and control. The Trojan Horse. The Trojan Horse is a form of a malicious software or malware, fronting to perform a good task, but covertly performs, undesirable function with the intention of entering the computer without the user's content. Once the malware installed in the computer, it leaves your PC unprotected and allows hackers to get your information. Example of this is the cracked version of some software. The rogue security software tricks the user into posing that it is security software. It asks the user to pay to improve his per security but in reality, they are not protected at all. You will encounter this as pop-up message that encourage you to download for security of your PC or ads on some browser. The spyware. The spyware is a program that runs in the background without you knowing it. Thus, it is called spy. It has the ability to monitor what you are doing and typing through keylogging. Major antivirus have incorporated in their products anti-spyware programs, and many internet-based companies have offered anti-spyware programs for a fee, and some are free. But you must be careful which one to use to ensure your protection. Keyloggers used to record the keystroke done by the users. This is done to steal their password or any sensitive information. It can be record email, messages, or any information you type using your keyboard. The adware. Adware is unwanted software designed to throw advertisements up on your screen, most often within a web browser. I, as an internet user also encounter this adware. It pop-ups and says. I want smartphone. But upon clicking it, I was redirected to another site. So be careful guys. The next threat in the internet is the email spam. Email spam is also known as junk email, it is usually unsolicited commercial email sent from one source with identical message sent to multiple recipients. 
Although some of them are not harmful, deleting them one by one will eat up your time and can clog your email. Dangerous spams carry virus like Trojan horse and other malicious software, malware. Spammer is a term referred to a person who creates spam. Spamming is projected to continue because it is a cheap means of advertising. In addition, many countries do not have laws to punish spammers. The email spoofing. Email spoofing refers to deceitful email practice in which the sender address is changed, so that it would appear to have come from the different source usually someone you know. Usually, the reply to address is the source of the email, and when you unknowingly reply to it you would be replying to the one who spoofed you. Email spoofing is usually used by spammers to hide the origin of the spam. The next danger in internet is phishing. Phishing is a deceitful practice of trying to get confidential information such as passwords and usernames, and credit card details by making it appear as if it comes from a trustworthy source. Phishing is usually done by email or other similar means using a popular entity such as Microsoft, Yahoo, Google, Amazon, and financial institutions to lure you to their website. Internet users would think that they are accessing a genuine website and through this way, a phisher would be able to gather sensitive information from internet account user. The farming. Farming is a dangerous hacker attack on a website which directs all traffic to that website to another fictitious website. It is a more complicated way of phishing where it exploits the domain name service system or DNS. The main object of farming is to obtain username and passwords, as well as credit card and financial information, and use these to steal their money electronically or use the credit card of the victims. Farming is the major concern of many online banking and electronic commerce transactions, which would compromise many of their client accounts as well as the business. Antivirus and anti-spyware software cannot prevent and protect one from farming. The last threat in the internet is the hacker. Hacker is a person who is able to enter and control other people's computer without authorization. A hacker is able to enter another's computer, usually vandalizes the victim's website, steals personal information, obtains intellectual property, and performs credit card fraud. Firewalls are able to prevent entry by hackers. Protecting reputation online. In the past, doing something embarrassing was not much of a big deal. It happened, people would laugh at it, and they would move on. Nowadays, embarrassing moments are captures using any device you could imagine. What is worse is that people can easily upload it to the internet, where it can be stored forever. This could impact not only your reputation but also the people around you. What is worse is that people tend to ignore this fact and suffer from it later in their life. Once you post something over the internet, search engines keep them in their archives for search results. This make anything you post to last forever even if you delete it in your page. Something you and your friends find funny today may be something that could harm someone's reputation later. So remember this guys, in protecting your online reputation, remember this word. Think before you click. Here are things you might to consider before posting something over the internet. We have, 1. Before you post something, ask these questions to yourself. Would you want your parents or grandparents to see it? Or, would you want your future boss to see it? Once you post something on the web, you have no control of who sees your posts. 2. Your friends depend on you to protect their reputation online. Talk to your friends about this serious responsibility. 3. Set your post to private. In this way, search engines will not be able to scan that post. 4. Avoid using name. Names are easy for search engines to scan. 5. If you feel that a post can affect you or others' reputation, ask the one who posted it to pull it down or report it as inappropriate. The copyright infringement. If you create something an idea, an invention, a form of literary work, or research, you have the right as to how it should be used by others. This is called intellectual property. Copyright infringement is the use of works protected by copyright law without permission for a usage where such permission is required, thereby infringing certain exclusive rights granted to the copyright holder, such as the right to reproduce, distribute, display or perform the protected work, or to make derivative works. The copyright holder is typically the work's creator, or a publisher or other business to whom copyright has been assigned. Copyright holders routinely invoke legal and technological measures to prevent and penalize copyright infringement. As a responsible user of the Internet, you have to consider that not everything out there are free for you to use. Just like your own, contents that you see from websites have their respective copyrights. 
There are several instances where employees or business owners face copyright infringement and are sentenced to a huge fine due to reckless copying of materials. So understand, be responsible, be creative, and know the law in order to avoid copyright infringement. The last topic is the online ethics and etiquette. Guidelines and rules are needed in the appropriate use of computer technology. There are both advantages and disadvantage in the use of computers. The Ten Commandments of Computer Ethics is meant as a guide to the right attitude when using computer. The Ten Commandments of Computer Ethics was written by Dr. Ramon C. Barquin in 1992 for the Computer Ethics Institute. He wrote a paper entitled, In Pursuit of Ten Commandments for Computer Ethics. The Ten Commandments of Computer Ethics copied the style of the Ten Commandments from the King James Bible which used Thou shalt, and Thou shalt not style of writing. So here are the Ten Commandments for Computer Ethics. We have, 1. Thou shalt not use a computer to harm other people. 2. Thou shalt not interfere with other people's computer work. 3. Thou shalt not snoop around in other people's computer files. 4. Thou shalt not use a computer to steal. 5. Thou shalt not use a computer to bear false witness. 6. Thou shalt not copy or use proprietary software for which you have not paid or, without permission. 7. Thou shalt not use other people's computer resources without authorization or proper compensation. 8. Thou shalt not appropriate other people's intellectual output. 9. Thou shalt think about the social consequences of the program you are writing or the system you are designing. 10. Thou shalt always use a computer in ways that ensure consideration and respect for other humans. And that concludes our lesson for today. I hope you learned to our tutorial series. More educational videos will be uploaded. So don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell for more video updates. See you again on the next video. Thank you very much. Good day and God bless you all.